August 18, here's some minor setbacks. Street nigga, if I don't do nothing, I'ma run that check back. Couple bitches used to play me, now they get the mess. Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy and Blazing back with another gameplay commentary. Nice little commentary here for you guys today. Hopefully, you're all having a great day, all that good stuff, man. And today, as you can see by the title of this video, we're talking about some of the most innovative maps in Call of Duty history, starting with Black Ops 1 in this video. I will continue this for the most part. Uh, like I said, I haven't played all the DLC for all of them for every, um, for every Call of Duty. So if you guys know of any DLC, well, I'll tell you, the ones that I've played is Black Ops 1, Ghosts, and I think I played, I didn't play NW3, I played World War 2, and I didn't play, um, I played BL2. I didn't really play too many of them. Like I said, I didn't play MW3. I heard MW3 was trash, kind of. I don't know if COD4 had DLC maps, but I didn't play those. I don't know if World of War had DLC maps, but I didn't play those. And I didn't play, um, yeah, MW3, MW2 either. So if you guys know some any more innovative maps, feel free to let me know. By innovative, I mean like something was kind of like some of the first things to be done. Like, not really the first thing, but like some of the first things, the most creative things that they could have done as far as Call of Duty. But what you guys are seeing in the background, it's just some Black Ops gameplay. And I have some little trailers from the uh, Black Ops trailer, multiplayer uh, map pack reveal trailer, blah, blah, blah. And first off, can we all agree that Black Ops 1 had the best live action trailers by far? Because the cook and then they had all the celebrities in them. Treyarch just does a great job with the live action trailers. I can't wait to see the Black Ops 4 live action trailers because I know they're going to absolutely kill it. That's the one thing I've always loved about Call of Duty is the live action trailers because they make them so good, so enjoyable. Even for a tra quote unquote trash game, the live action trailers just make it so, so nice to watch and it's just so enjoyable and I love it. That's one of my favorite things about Call of Duty is the trailers and how they promote it and the live action trailers are just the best. The celebrities they get, how they do it. What they do, the, the creativity in them is just all amazing. But some of the maps that I have from Black Ops 1, uh, let's start off with some of the, um, just some of the regular maps, not necessarily DLC. For one of them, you have the map Launch. If you guys remember uh, Launch, it's that map with the big rocket. And by innovative, I mean it's like it has an effect on the map. All right, so if you guys remember, you play Domination on launch, and you go down, the B flag is where the rocket is. I think it's, that's where the B flag is. And you know, if somebody, if people are down there catching B, you can just activate the rocket, and it'll blow them up. Now after that, it has an effect on the map because it leaves, and the rocket's no longer there, so it makes it harder to get B, depending on which team has it. Not that stuff, I, I feel like that's kind of different. It's pretty uh, dope, it gets annoying, when they keep killing you or just the little drop down right there in the ledge and you can see because when that rocket leaves it's like a little ledge where you can oversee people on B so it makes it a lot harder and more difficult in order to get the B flag and then some DLC maps you got well non DLC you got radiation not a non DLC map um, you can see the little middle part opens up and closes and makes it easier or harder to get the B flag so that definitely has a an immediate factor on the map then as far as DLC maps, you guys will see I got some of the little trailers right here. I got a Hotel was insane, man. You guys remember when they first showed it, Hotel, they put the Claymore in the um, in the elevator. That was uh, uh, that was absolutely insane in my opinion. Just the way that they did it and then people can camp in there and people actually put Claymores in there. That was pretty dope. I love that map. Black Ops 1 had the best DLC by far in my opinion and then Ghost comes second. But Black Ops 1 did so many things right. Then they had the map Silo. It wasn't anything too crazy. Except they had that one part of the map where you can get on top. And people would just sit there and snipe. And I remember getting some of the craziest tomahawks on that map. Just literally throwing it up. Hitting people from right there. And it just get so upset. Because I would have gotten upset too. And then you got the map Silo. Or not Silo. Stockpile. And Stockpile, man, they had this one little part of the map. Well, they had two parts of the map. The middle was like a little building. And then they had two, like, garage doors you can open and close, which led into both spawns. So if you had them both closed, because the B flag was in the middle, obviously, and you had people set up inside, it was a GG. Like, you were no longer getting the flag. And it was, it was crazy. Like, it would be absolutely insane trying to get the flag. And then if you had the B flag, obviously, you can open it up and just spawn trap the ever-living crap out of the whole enemy team and it just makes it an unwelcome <laughs> unhappy time for the whole enemy team and then last but not least you got the map cow 
Kowloon. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm probably missing a couple other ones, but Kowloon is like a map of its own. It, like, I don't think there's ever been a game that has made a zipline feature in it. I mean, the zipline feature would have been much cooler if uh, you can actually mess around and shoot people while ziplining. That would have been pretty dope. But the way that they did it, it was like such a troll, if you think about it. Because once you zipline, you can't do anything until you drop. And it was just so funny seeing people trying to zipline to you. <laughs> just thinking about it just makes me laugh. When, you, when the people try to zipline to you and they can't do anything. So you just sit there and you just shoot them off. Of it. Like, what are you doing? Like, Then you can zipline in two parts of the map. And the way the map was designed, the middle was like a, like the two side, The two spawns were uphill. And then the middle was like the top of the hill. So if you just sat at the top, you were good. And they had the one side that had like the big sign at the top. And you just set up, like people just sat up there and just camped. Put attack insert right there. Had lightweight pro marathon pro take no fall damage run forever. And like I said, man, Black Ops 1 is just so, so great in my opinion. Some of the best maps as far as DLC maps. And even some really, really good regular maps. Like I said, as far as innovation, I mean like just something different. You know what I mean? Like sometimes not necessarily the first but like something different as far as maps give it a whole different perspective and just has a huge impact on the games like i said all these maps have a big impact i don't really know too much about silo but silo can have a big impact because just because of the fact that you can see b from that spot and if they're sniping and you hop on b i think there's one angle that you can't really get sniped off of there from but it makes a pretty big difference. People put sentry guns up there, all that stuff. It's absolutely insane. Especially stockpile, people get a chopper gunner. Because the top of the B flag is like all glass. They can shoot right through it. Hotel is just insane. Claymore, you open up the elevator and the claymore is right there. Or just the whole middle of the map had a little shack in the middle. It was just a well-designed map. I like all the maps, man. All of them stuff. All of them were just so much fun, so so great. Kowloon was probably like the only one that was kind of like iffy, but it was fun at the same time. Because like I said, just seeing people zip line to you is probably one, <laughs> it's probably one of the funniest things you'll ever see. It's just like, it's insane. Like, what are people thinking when they're zip lining to you, knowing that they can't shoot or do anything? They're just zip lining to you, hoping that you don't kill them before they stop. I don't know. People are absolutely demonic. Um. <laughs> anyways, absolutely insane. If you guys made it to this far into the video, comment down, Dolphin. <laughs> Just so I know. But uh, got this little update on the channel. We got two World War II videos left. We have uh, my Defiance is dropping very, very soon. It should be being finished up this weekend. If not this weekend, it should be up sometime throughout this week. Or I might make it wait till the weekend. I don't know. Who knows yet? Who knows? Who knows? I might make it wait till next weekend. Depending on when it gets done this weekend, it should be. Talk to the editor. Then we have my best of with Greg, Hero, and myself, which will be going up soon. Those are the last two World War II videos on my channel. Maybe I'll make another one soon. Who knows? But that's it. If you guys make it to this part in the video, let me know. Drop a like. Let me know what you thought of your overall thoughts. Let me know some of the uh, maps that are very innovative to you. Like I said, remember to use my definition of it. And yeah, man, been your boy Blazing. I'm out. Hope you all have a great day. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. I'm out. Peace. Soon as I walk out, they stand there. I had be patient for this. I'm the man now, was the man then. I had my way with a bitch. I'm the man now, was the man then. I put some ice on my wrist.